Hey there, everybody. Professor Cloud here with an extension to or expansion to our playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, Sam Lake walked on to the Summer Games Fest stage and announced that the very next day, the first expansion for Alan Wake 2 would be released, specifically Night Springs. Now, for all of those who, you know, may not remember, Night Springs is the TV show that Alan actually used to write for uh, prior to becoming a novelist, and it was something that we used to see on TV sets when we would go into different locations throughout the first game. wasn't something that they spent a lot of time on in the second game other than referencing back to it. Uh, so what Sam Lake has done is they've made three separate episodes of what they're calling Night Springs, where you play as side characters from the main game. Uh, the first one is definitely Rose. Uh, the third one is definitely Sheriff Breaker. I just can't remember who the second one is. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in to see what we've got here. If we go down now to Expansions, you can see we have Night Springs. You can also see that there is a new one coming called The Lake House. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have a timeline yet for The Lake House, but it is something that I know that Sam had announced at one point or time. So according to the uh, reading here, Night Springs are episodes now available to play. Experience the surreal strangeness of the Night Springs TV show in three episodic adventures that transform the familiar into the bizarre. So as you can see, we have three episodes. Number one fan, obviously that's Rose. Uh, episode two is North Star, and episode three is Timebreaker. Now, I don't know if you need to play them in order or if you can play them in whatever order you want based on you know who you want to play as. And I really wish I could remember who the episode two was going to be attached to. But let's go ahead and jump into the first episode, episode one, number one fan. Loading into this expansion from this menu will overwrite your progress in the existing expansion quick slave slot. Oh, well, that's fine, because we have we don't have a save here. So that's fine. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. <laughs> to be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages, <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in <laughs> Night Springs? Uh, I already like the way they're introducing this. Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. Life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then, bam! Destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <sighs> but <laughs> that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, <laughs> you don't really mind how it arrives. My day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. 
<clears throat> okay, real quick. <laughs> First of all, I love the way that they introduced it. Uh, it was very clear that Doc, that Mr. Dore was talking about Rose when he said her as being the definition of a fanatic and was talking about that. The other thing I, I did want to mention is based on the very quick synopsis he gave of this episode, it does appear that this is taking place during the main game because it's talking about her deciphering messages from Alan uh, as he's still in the dark place. And if that's the case, then that was a big part of the storyline every time we ran into Rose. Um, and even based on what the messages were that we were finding in some cases, that it was clear that Rose was doing this during the game. So that's, that's kind of cool. It's actually happening during the game time frame. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town. So there was plenty of work to do. Okay. Gonna try and touch everything. Everyone's favorite waitress. Look who it is. Hi, let's, everyone. Let's walk around. Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Of course. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please, and thank you. Will do. Let me just grab a fresh pot. Uh. Okay, there we go. Provide coffee refills, dispense really good advice. I love the medium rare burgers here. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? I work extremely hard. But also, I'm naturally talented. <laughs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. Okay. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that rider was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. It wasn't easy. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that rider of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> we sure are. <laughs> That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. I'm not sure how I was supposed to dispense advice. All right, I whatever. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Pie! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Shucks. <laughs> All right. I can already tell I am going to be laughing the entire time. The writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. <clears throat> Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. Okay, did you see what they actually listed her name as? Lady with the ugly green car? So it's Rose's definition of who they are, not necessarily their real names. I come here three times a Guy day. with that concerning mole. <laughs> not that way. Is Knott Steiner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're going to make this our 20th win in a row. My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? Those plates won't clear themselves. Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But it's what's inside that matters, right? You still have to put in some effort. 
if you don't have a jacket with elbow patches, buy one. Elbow patches? Oh, got it. Thanks a million. <laughs> don't mention it. Okay, that's got to be dispensing advice. All right. I think that's all the plates. Yep, good. We dispensed advice. What can I get you? Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. <laughs> After all, you're the town's literature buff. <gasps> oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. <sighs> I'll grab you a copy from the back. Get the novel from storage. Okay. No time for that. I've got customers waiting. It said employees only. Isn't... Aren't I an employee? <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Beat Poetry Night at Night's Diner. Employee of the Decade Award. <laughs> In recognition of basically being the best at, like, everything. Presented to everyone's favorite waitress. Oh, man. You better not crease any pages. Two can do it. Thank you so much for taking in my six macaws. I know you have your hands full with all the other sick birds in your bird sanctuary, but if anyone can find a cure for their rare bird lupus, it's you. A young girl who wants to be you someday. The only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Death comes for everyone that doesn't mean it's painless. Death will hurt. <laughs> By American's bestseller writer. Best-selling writer. Man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice in the whole city. Will hurt. Okay. Where's this book? Hmm. That's bathroom. Okay. It did say to get the book from storage. Okay, it's not there. <laughs> I really wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> oh, crap. I don't... I don't understand. Um... Isn't there a way for me to see the objectives again? Gotta be missing something simple.
writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Okay, the only reason... Don't worry. I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. <laughs> Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. <laughs> okay, so in case anyone was wondering, the only reason I knew to do anything is because when I hovered over this one, it gave me a, a mouse click icon that wasn't on any of the others. Okay, so now I need to go to the kitchen. And we need to find our accessories, whatever the hell that means. My accessories. Ah. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. <laughs> so she's got an arsenal back here. Oh my god. Alright, so pump shotgun, rifle. Okay, it appears those are the only two that are available. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly. And looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. My trusty 12 gauge. Fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. All right. I was finally ready for a night out on the town <laughs> with danger. <laughs> oh my god. Um All right, how do I bring up my inventory? I don't remember. <laughs> uh resume to Camera sprinting movement. All right, these are the only things that are okay. All right. Oh, okay, there we go. One is shotgun. Three or one is rifle, three is shotgun. Four is Molly. Or uh hold on Two is Molly. No, four is Molly. Uh two is painkillers. Okay. That's blocked, so it's got to be this way. <laughs> As she skips through the door. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm laughing entirely too hard. <laughs> I mean, this is this is the complete opposite of what a typical Alan Wake game is. I don't. By the way, I also don't know if there are collectibles. So the whole reason I was looking around uh, as we were being cheered down the road. Uh, was because I wanted to see if there were um, thermos, uh, either thermoses or lunch boxes or um, the red and white cooler cases that we used to find during the main game. Now, who the heck is that? I knew you'd come to his rescue. 
like right here. All right, some more rifle ammo, I think that was, or shotgun ammo. So I'm guessing this is Scratch. Who are you? And why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. It's because he to doesn't. There were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. But you're his brother. I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common. And after you change, you can move in together. <laughs> and I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights. He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? You can't join him? Beat him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have a shotgun. Well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Okay, I admit that's a... I didn't expect that. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. <laughs> a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's books. And there was only one way to deal with monsters. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. What? Okay, this is not going to be a finesse game. What? How are you not... Okay, well, that was nuts. <laughs> and I took a lot of damage. And they don't drop anything. Well, there, hold on a minute. There's a, yeah, there's a cooler over here. Okay, good. One of each. Because I definitely need uh, heals. My writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere. Like a sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me. The music, I have to say, was a very interesting choice. <clears throat> Alright, there's two coolers down here, it looks like. Uh-huh. <laughs> We repeal from all his books! Yeah, the music is a very interesting choice. <laughs> uh, 
Ah. I'm fresh out of bullets. Well, not really, but all right, I can heat. Let's heal. All right, and then let's switch back to the shotgun. This is a 12 round pump action shotgun. It's pretty quick. I, I really seriously doubt that this is. Well, I think we left the realm of reality, you know, within the first five seconds of the game. The twins motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately. Thanks to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me right to my writer and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. What spouse? She's never been married. More haters. Where? Oh. I'm gonna have to get up close on something because I'm running out of rifle ammo. sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, yep. Okay. Wow. why I got a message that I needed to heal in the middle of that. Why hadn't my writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother? <laughs> he must be waiting until our third or fourth date, surrounded by candles, so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. Oh, that man has more layers than a croissant. Okay, so the the tracks lead that way, but there is a path up here, which clearly means that no, there's nothing up here. Never mind. I was going to say clearly they want us to go up there, but no, not so much. Okay, moving on. I couldn't let these monsters continue to plague my dear writer with their negativity. I would treat them the same way I treat trolls on my fan site, but this time I was banning them from life. Uh, there's 
definitely something. Maybe. Yep. <clears throat> all the tears of the all the angels in heaven were falling all over the city. She wore the rain like a funeral shroud. She was in sad state, this city of mine, but she was still mine. The filthy prison I called home. I was here for a reason. Joe Bullets Capone, he was inside drinking champagne and throwing around his dirty money while I stood in the rain, smoking a soggy cigarette. That didn't matter. The only thing that mattered was I knew Bullets had a bad night coming his way and he had no clue. He made me wait for it, though. My pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time Bullets staggered out the back door. I detached myself from the shadows, stepped up right beside that pathetic excuse for a man. Long time, Joe. Bullets looked up, his booze-soaked grin twisted into something less friendly. You. He reached for the pistol under his jacket, a six-shooter with slugs big as my cigarette stubs. I'd done my homework. He barely had the piece out of its holster before I was on him. I wrestled it out of his hands, tossed it behind a dumpster. Bullets didn't like that. Gave me one right in the gut. Wind rushed out of my lungs like a soul leaving a body. Through my wheezing, I could make out the slap of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. Had to get after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. He had info I needed. The address of the last stop for this train called Revenge. So I sucked in whatever air I could and took off after him. Through the twisting maze of alleyways. Two rats, but only one cheese. I pulled out my revolver. I was playing for keeps. Don't make this hard, Joe. I caught up to him as he was dropping down the other side of a chain-link fence. He sneered, teeth like rows of gray tombstones. He thought he was escaping. He thought he was safe. My body slammed against the fence like a bird against a window. I clutched the thin metal, scrambled over it, the jagged ends of wire ripping through the sleeves of my leather coat and biting into skin. The pain was welcome. I dropped down in the alley and ran like a panther. At every blind corner, I expected a trash can lid to the face. None came. Maybe Bullets had liked what he saw in my eyes as I climbed that fence. Bet he wasn't smiling now. Then I had him. A trapped rat trying and failing to wrench a locked door off its hinges. I leveled my gun at him. You know what I want, Joe. Bullets let go of the door handle, hands as up as they'd go, beseeching a higher power not to cast him down. Come on, man. Ain't gonna bring your wife back. Can't hurt to try. Talk. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, sure. Bullets lunged for his ankle, a crack of lightning from my hand, and he was down in the gutter, clutching his belly. I walked over, calm as snow. I stood over him, watched his putrid blood mingle with the rivers of rainwater. You talk, I call an ambulance. His words were having a hard time getting through the pain. You're insane, man, insane. I raised my gun level with his eyes. Try again. Okay, okay, okay. You want the big man? Yeah, I know where you can find him. Blood pounding in my ears like war drums. All the killing, the sleepless nights, the booze, the countless cigarettes I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this. The drums got louder. Bullet caught his breath, straining against the pain. Then he spilled his guts. My number one fan. If I don't make it, then I just want you to know... That no, I can't say it. Curse my crippling, sensitive, artistic nature. I left the alley, told a waiter on the curb that a guy had been shot, didn't care what he did with that information. I had what I needed. Oh, okay. Uh, interesting. And I apologize for the lack of different voices. This is not something I typically do. But I tried. Okay, back to shooting... Bad guys in the head. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my rider inside? Hello? Isn't anyone get arrested in poor little rider? Hello? Okay, hold on. Oh, I don't have any room. Okay, that's fine. I'm here. I've come to save you. Oh, 
joy. We can finally be together and sit through big poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My rider only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. No more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. Okay, muscles don't cry, they sweat. Oh, please. Life is not unlike a highway. Well, not according to the good, really good song. All right. Um, no, they won't let... Okay, I don't even know how to manage my inventory. I'd really like to replace one of those things of shotgun shells for rifle ammo. Oh, I was really hoping we would get an old school Night Springs episode there. Hmm. I guess writing doesn't run in the family. <laughs> Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone, the night can only come when the day is done. Can the sea ever meet the ocean? Yeah, I'm kind of in agreement with her. That was kind of crappy. Uh, oh, that was the door. Where are you? I was never upstairs. I lied when I said there were no more tricks. <sighs> You're starting to peed me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. Just out the back. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker? He had crossed the line. <laughs> I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. <laughs> Torture ideas for Hack Brother. Car battery. Pulling fingernails. The bell? No idea what that means. Blunt spoon. Dismantle typewriters. <laughs> Gasoline and fire. And then maybe oversimplicating over complicating this. Oh man. This has been hilarious. The twin said he was down at the beach. guess we go back out the back door? The front door? Oh, okay. There we go. Yep. Okay. Hey. Me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd, Hush he's... your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. We're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. What did he ever do to you? I, uh... Already told you that? At the boatyard? I feel overshadowed. By success, like he's taking everything I can compete. Oh, right. I remember now. It's a self-confidence thing. Uh, w well, it's a bit more complicated than that. You are going to tell me where he is, or else. Or else what, babe? You asked for it. You're rude, you have no manners, your too-cool-to-care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You no, stop! I don't like being seen! Listen, I what? never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms this mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh shit! Tricked, even with my famously keen perception. My 
Knight Rider's mansion as fast as my chunky kitten heels would take me. Hit you in the head and you were able to go through that makes no sense. I know, but it did. Can't use realism in this game. Make sure there's nothing up here. No. Music is a very stylistic choice, I have to say. But it does fit with, you know, who the character is, of course. Because mm -hmm. uh, we already came through here, didn't we? All right. I knew you, my number one fan would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. As she's standing there covered in blood. chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into we were connected by love and destiny uh, he was meant to be mine always and forever there was no time to lose i was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters the fate of all art rested on my shoulders the stakes had never been higher If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. This is breaking my heart! Whoa. What? I oh, ran right into that. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna do this from distance. Dagger lock. That was not easy. Um, I think. Oh, hold on, man. I think there's. Yeah, there's another one of these. Yeah, the the rifle was definitely the wrong choice. There's another one. Um. Why is there no ability for me to modify my inventory? So they want me to talk to him, but where did he go? Oh, never mind. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. I was just jealous of his talent, his money, his velvety hair. <laughs> but mostly, that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Oh, you silly werewolf. You could have all those things, too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart, and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to. 
okay. <laughs> oh man. Of course. Oh boy. Oh crap. I wasn't able to do anything. I was stagger locked. Oh, that's bull. Yeah, it's so annoying that I can't do anything about my inventory. Um That kill both of them? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's not a molly. That's a damn grenade. more heels. God, there's books everywhere. Alright, while it's just music, I'm going to turn the music down a, a touch so that I'm not screaming over top of it. Good 
coming, so don't mess with me. <laughs> the line about I've had my spinach this morning is yeah, absolutely like hilarious. I mean, save himself. Because of how ridiculous it sounds as you're firing a shotgun. Ideas for next book. Invented murder weapons, stapler, lawn gnome, <laughs> swordfish, philosophy. They escalate the crime, plunge the depths of humanity's darkness, a murder religion. That is what Alan Wake 2 pretty much was. Uh, here's motivation. A rival private eye. Yeah. His wife returns from the dead only to be killed a second time. Too much. Not enough. A waitress character who is intelligent, sophisticated, good with a weapon. <laughs> Sounds like cinnamon and gunpowder. <laughs> oh, man. What do we got here? I don't have time to admire my writer's taste and decor. <laughs> Air beard regimen twice a week. I am not reading that, by the way. Oh my god. Nothing else down here. All right. <laughs> and there he was. After all the fighting, we were finally alone, together. Our love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I've been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. To inspire and protect him. <laughs> he needed me, now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. Oh, man. It's fun. Uh... And the object of her joy come together against the world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But his happiness, like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder. Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs. Wow, they created a whole new song for this. Very cool. Okay, well, <laughs> that was the first of the three Night Springs expansions. Excuse me, Night Springs expansions. I will, of course, be playing through the other two as well. So keep an eye out for those coming to the YouTube channel. Uh, and as always, if you are enjoying the content, please make sure to hit the like button. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you next time in Night Springs. <laughs>